I'm 22, I'm from Newcastle. I'm a bit of a go so I do have to have the last word in. And if you cross us, you're definitely gonna know about it. My ex is Kyle, and we worked together three years. It was really, really good at first, and then he just started turning into a massive He finishes out the blue and got straight winner than I bid, and then moved out of Newcastle. I still, to this day, don't know what I did wrong. What type of ex am I? I'm actually a really, really good ex, because despite the fact that Kyle f***ed us around for so long, I'll always, always have his back. What was the last thing I said to my ex? Probably see you next week, because he's always pulling us every weekend. How would I describe myself in three words? I'm really caring, I'm really outgoing, and I'm really, really cute. The most embarrassing thing that I've done when I've been drunk is the fact that once I fell asleep in the toilet and the toilet attendant had to actually get us up at the end of the night and take us to my taxi. My best chat of line is probably just to give them the eye in the club and then jobs are good and they just come running. Three sexy secrets about me are is the fact that I do love it when a boy takes control but I also love it when I can swap it up a bit and take control myself and I absolutely love taking it from behind. My biggest turn on is when a lad just kisses us absolutely everywhere. It gets us right in the mood. What's my biggest turn off? My biggest turn off is when a lad is cocky and thinks that he can get every bird that he wants. My most embarrassing sex story is actually when Kyle had a girlfriend. All his friends were in his flat, so I had no choice but to go outside and have sex behind a hotel across the road. Why have I came on X on the beach? To get me lad back. Although he's been around for two years I just can't stop the feelings that I've got for him. Kyle I'm coming for you.